across a large portion of Western North America and a lot of parts of the forested regions in the United States, um, you'll see wide swaths of forests that are brown, red, or even gray. And that's because a lot of the trees have died. Uh, those trees are largely dying due to bark beetle infestations. Bark beetles are a, a native family of insects to Western North America, and it is common for trees to die due to bark beetle infestations. But what we're seeing now is possibly, at least in, in, in what we know from human history and human observation, an unprecedentedly large infestation of bark beetles. 40, more than 40 million acres of trees in the U.S. alone are dead uh, since the mid-90s due to this infestation. And so we see large landscapes, large hillsides, entire watersheds that appear uh, red or brown or gray, and that means that the trees are in some stage where they've already been killed by the bark beetle and they're sort of slowly moving towards decaying and falling over. What we've been interested in at Western Water Assessment, what we've been interested in at Ceres, is trying to understand what all of this means for watershed impacts. What does this mean for the amount of water that might be coming out of a watershed? What does this mean for the quality of water that might be coming out of a watershed? And should those who really work on water, uh, water supply uh, issues really be concerned about this type of thing? The impact that we've observed on the forest landscape in Colorado and across the West from mountain pine beetles and other bark beetle infestations has been not nearly as severe as many researchers and water managers expected. These bark beetle infestations are only one set of influences on the forest landscape at any point in time and, and over time. And we also have wildfires occurring that have significant impacts on, on water quality. Uh, we also have enormous year-to-year -year climate variability, the amount of precipitation we get, uh, how fast it warms up in the spring and early summer that affects the timing of runoff and how much of the snowpack is converted to runoff. Uh, we have anthropogenic climate change. We have a warming trend in Colorado. We also have uh, airborne dust uh, that is coming largely from the Colorado Plateau region and increasingly uh, we're seeing that dust deposited on our snowpacks in, in western Colorado and across the Rocky Mountain West. And so one of the things that we have been looking at at Western Water Assessment and Ceres is how do these different perturbations on the hydrologic cycle interact and can we use modeling to tease them apart? So far we haven't actually seen major changes in the amount of water coming out of our forests. It's a testament to the resiliency of our forests. It's also a story of the complexity of the bark beetle infestations and the complexity of western forests.